Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the UK OSARIX user group. And today I want to talk uh, about how to create FRCR teaching sets for Viva practice, whether you're um, teaching your own SPRs before the examination or maybe you've been invited to uh, act as an examiner on a, an FRCR preparation course. So let's look at OSIRIX and I'm sure you've been collecting lots of uh, great cases on OSIRIX. The first thing I want to say is I hope if you are you're not storing them all on the default uh, database which is the only database that will show when you first purchase OSIRIX. The reason that we don't advise you storing any cases there is that first of all if you've got a lot of cases it'll make your computer run very slowly and secondly, if anything happens to your computer or it gets stolen, you'll lose all your cases. So uh, we would recommend that you set up new uh, databases to store your cases and that you have one that is your master database that you put every case you collect into. And you can see on my OSARIX here, that's called MER Master Database. And there are all my cases and they get given a number and uh, labelled as they go in. Now there's no reason in a database why you might not want to use the album uh, feature to sort your cases out and you can see here that I've made some FRCR uh, test set albums which have got uh, cases within them and those aren't duplicates of cases in my database, they're just um, an album that I've made and I've dragged cases across that I think would be suitable. Now the only problem with using an album for teaching is that I think in an ideal world you want to um, order your cases in an appropriate way, so starting off with some slightly easier cases and then maybe moving on to some slightly more difficult cases. And if you simply use the album, your cases will be ordered in the way that you put them into your database. So that might not be ideal. And probably more of a problem is that because you're working with your main database, if you accidentally delete a case out of an album, um, you may actually delete the case entirely rather than just moving it out of the album or a registrar may accidentally delete one of your cases. So I think it's a slightly risky way to do things, but it's certainly possible. The way that we would recommend is that you actually make some new databases and copy cases from your main database into these new folders of these new databases. The advantage of that is that doing this, you can renumber your cases and uh, you have got complete duplicates of your cases, so there's no risk of losing the original in your main database. So how do we go about creating one of these? Many of you will be very familiar with the concept of making a new album or a new database. You start off by making a new folder in the place that you want to uh, keep your cases. We would recommend normally that this was on the external hard drive, but for the purposes of this demonstration, um, I'm putting this folder on the desktop and it's just a simple empty uh, computer folder. Now if we look into um, OSIRIX again, um, I should mention that I'm using OSIRIX version 5.9 for this demonstration. Um, we go to File, New Database Folder, go to the desktop and find the new folder and create a new database. And now you will see there's an empty FRCR database that's appeared uh, in our list of sources. Now I have pulled a few cases that might be suitable into my default database so that I can renumber them. And I always do this, I use the default database just for playing around or changing cases um, and it means if anything disastrously goes wrong then I've always got the original one safe in my original database. So if we take this nice straightforward case of avascular necrosis that would be a good starting case. 
I've already anonymized this case to put it into my museum, but I now, to renumber it, I'm going to use the anonymization protocol again. But instead of uh, picking the museum anonymization protocol, I'm going to go to the Viviset protocol. And this is just going to prompt me to give new numbers to this case. So I'm going to call the patient name, case 01, and the patient ID, case 01. And I can rename the examination, which is an x-ray pelvis. And you'll see that um, the uh, study instance UID, which in our museum is normally kept separate, is given a different number here. And I'll come back to that a little bit later in this tutorial. So I'm now just going to press Add. And what has happened is I've now got a new uh, numbered version of my case. I can add on um, any of the clinical details that I want and the age and sex of the patient. And now my case is ready to be copied across into the new database. And if I look in FRCR set 5, the first case is already in there. So if I go back to the other cases, one of the things that you may have in an FRCR Viva situation is a series of cases, as in this case here, where we're going to start off by showing the candidate some plain films, then a bone scan, and then move on to an MRI. Now, one of the things that we have noticed is that although having everything in the same line of the database is quite nice in a museum or a collection, um, in a Viva situation, if you have a candidate scrolling, occasionally they may accidentally scroll into the next examination before you want them to see it. So when we have a case like this, we want to um, number it slightly differently so that this next case is going to be case 02, but we want to have the plain film, the bone scan and the MRI on different lines of the database. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing to do is to highlight the thoracic spine images, go to the anonymization uh, protocol, and it's very nice because it remembers what you've been doing. So I can now call this one case two, and I will call this x-ray T-spine. And the study instance here is 001. So I'm telling Asarix that this is the first study that this patient has had done. And I press Add. And there we have case 02 with just the x-ray of the thoracic spine in the first line. So if I go back to the original case, I'm now going to click on the bone scan and do exactly the same thing. Except this time, I'm going to call that bone scan, and I'm going to call this study instance 002, and I'm going to add it again. And now I have my bone scan showing as the next examination. Now I want to go to the MR and make that the third component of this um, set. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go back to the original case. I'll highlight all the MR series and we'll go to anonymization and press MRI and 003 and add. And there are slightly more images so that takes a slightly longer time. So now I've got case two with the thoracic spine first, the bone scan second, and the MRI third. So there's no danger of the candidate accidentally seeing the MRI before I want them to see it. And I can do the labeling, which I won't do now in the interest of time. And I'll copy this into uh, my new folder. And I've now got two cases in there. So this is a nice way to um, separate your cases for a viva. 
and uh, put the cases in the order in which she would like to show them to the candidate. So to summarise, I have shown you here how to create a new folder or database to put in a set of FRCR uh, cases in the order that you would like to see them and also how to separate cases into different modalities so that the candidate doesn't accidentally see an image before you're ready for them to uh, see the case. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much.